Good morning friends, welcome back to New City Glands. So this is 12th week from 21st March to 27th March. Under the national mission of manuscripts, you may ask what is meant by manuscript. Manuscripts are written with the hand and under this national mission of manuscripts, 55,000 valuable manuscripts containing the practice of Ayurvedic and Siddha medicines have been documented. Talks to end five-year-old civil war in Syria began in Geneva. All of you are well aware about the cessation of hostilities. Cessation of hostilities between Syrian government and opposition started and peace talks are going on quite off and on in Geneva. So, if someone asks about Syria, the capital is Damascus and it is into civil war since 2011. These things do not forget and recently, the government with the support of Russia recaptured Palmyra from IS. This thing, please do not forget because Palmyra is a historic city in Syria. One in four deaths worldwide are due to environmental factors like air, soil and water pollution as well as unsafe roads and workplace stress. Because of these reasons, basically air pollution, soil pollution, because of usage of more fertilizers, synthetic fertilizers, water pollution and unsafe roads because traffic rules are not followed properly, especially in developing countries and workplace stress. With the advent of private sector, workplace stress became quite common because of all these reasons. 12.6 million people died in 2012 and these deaths are 23 percent of the total deaths reported globally. And please do not forget this report is given by World Health Organization, Geneva based organization and WHO was established in the year 1948 on April 7 and we celebrate April 7 as the World Health Day. The Chairman of National Human Rights Commission, you may ask what is NHRC? NHRC is a statutory body established in the year 1993 and its Chairman Justice H. L. Dattu has been appointed a member of the international body to be specific International Coordinating Committee of National Human Rights Institutions Bureau. This is Geneva based organization. Indian Railways formed a new special purpose vehicle. What is meant by special purpose vehicle? Special purpose vehicle is formed exclusively for execution of particular task. Here the task is construction of railway line between Ahmedabad and Mumbai. This will be the first high speed rail corridor in the country, bullet train you can say and it is being constructed or you can say it is going to be constructed with the assistance of Japan. Japan agreed to give soft loan and Shinkansen technology that is of Japan that will be used and Indian Railways formed special purpose vehicle to implement a high speed rail corridor between Mumbai and Ahmedabad and it is named National High Speed Rail Corporation Limited. Out of 141 million hectares of net cultivated area in the country, only 46 percent is covered under assured irrigation. Because of this reason, government of India is giving more emphasis on creating irrigation potential and as such, Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchai Yojana is contemplated and rupees 20,000 crore long term irrigation fund was announced in the budget of 2016-17 and NABAD will create this 20,000 crore long term irrigation fund so as to increase the irrigation potential in the country. Government approved 49 percent FDI in insurance sector through automatic route. Now, 49 percent FDI can come to insurance sector through automatic route. Government notified recently and please do not forget IRDAI is the regulator for insurance sector. Every year 25th March is being observed as the International Day of Remembrance of the Victims of Slavery and the Transatlantic Slave Trade. And the most unfortunate aspect in history was from 15th century to 19th century, almost 1 crore Africans 
were taken to Caribbean islands and South America especially as slaves. It is the darkest period in history and every year 25th March is being observed as the day of remembrance of victims of slavery. Legendary US writer and comedian Gary Shandling, he is famous for the show The Larry Sanders Show passed away in Los Angeles due to heart attack. Shane Watson, famous Australian all-rounder, has declared his retirement from all forms of international cricket after the end of his team's campaign in the ICC World 2020. And please don't forget, 2020, both the men's and women's tournament was won by West Indies. Suicide attack at a football stadium in Baghdad. These incidents are going on not only in Iraq, but also in Pakistan. And because of suicide attack at a football stadium in Baghdad, it killed 30 people and 60 people were injured. Right? Please don't forget, Iraq capital is Baghdad and currency is Iraqi dinar. Look into the next one, Troy. What is Troy? Troy is Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. It is a telecom regulator and it asked the Department of Telecommunications to put comprehensive communications network at Andaman and Nicoba and Lakshadweep Islands, basically to improve the telecom infrastructure in these islands. Retired Chief Justice of Sikkim High Court, Justice Parmod Kohli, has been appointed as the Chairman of Central Administrative Tribunal. If there is any dispute between Government and Government of India employees with regard to the service conditions, they can approach Central Administrative Tribunal and this was established in the year 1985. And retired Chief Justice of Sikkim High Court, Paramod Kohli, appointed as Chairman of CAT. Indian wrestler Hardeep Singh has won silver medal in the Asian Olympic Qualification Tournament in the 98 kilogram category. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has launched Kisan Suvitha mobile application for farmers to provide agricultural relevant basic information instantly and five parameters which were covered under this Kisan Suvidha mobile application are weather, market price, input dealers, plant protection and expert advisories. Andhra Pradesh government inaugurated India's first river linking project that is the Patisima lift irrigation project connecting Godavari river with Krishna river from the ongoing Polavaram multi-purpose irrigation project. And this Patisima brings water from Godavari river to Krishna river. 69 people were killed and more than 300 injured in a suicide bomb attack at Gulshan E. Iqbal in Lahore. And 69 people were killed. And please don't forget, Pakistan is a predominantly Muslim dominated country, but minorities like Hindus, Christians are there at around 1.6% each in the country. The Syrian army confirmed on 27th March that it had liberated the historic city of Palmyra with the support of National Aviation and Russian Aerospace Forces. With the support of Russia, Syria regained Palmyra. Palmyra is the important town and IS occupied this town last year and they dismantled several historic structures which include Baal Temple, Baal Shaman Temple, and Arch of Triumph. Finally, this city has been recaptured by the Syrian government forces with the help of Russian forces. Nepal was officially made a dialogue partner of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. This Shanghai Cooperation Organization or SCO is a Eurasian bloc of economic, political and military organization and at present, it consists of six members. The members are Russia, China and 
four countries of uh, Central Asia leaving Turkmenistan. Central Asia has got five countries leaving Turkmenistan. The remaining four countries that is Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan along with the China and Russia. These six are the members and India and Pakistan are going to join as regular members shortly and with the joining of India and Pakistan total membership will go up to eight. Now, Nepal was officially made a dialogue partner in Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Uttarakhand was brought under President's rule by the center and the matter has gone to judiciary and please don't forget Uttarakhand High Court is in Nainital, right? And the governor is Dr. K. K. Paul. Gurmeet Singh has become the first Indian athlete to clinch a gold medal at the Asian 20 km race walk championships 2016 in Japan. Ritu Berry, fashion designer, has been appointed as the advisor to the union government's statutory body, Khadi and Village Industries Commission. This Khadi and Village Industries Commission is under the Ministry of MSME and it is a statutory body which was made by an act of parliament in the year 1956 and now Ritu Berry, famous fashion designer will be the advisor to promote Khadi. The United Nations the International Day of Happiness 2016 is celebrated every year on March 20. To recognize that happiness is a fundamental human goal and the theme for 2016 is Angry Birds Happy Planet. And please don't forget Madhya Pradesh government recently stated that it will create Minister for Happiness. Aruna Gali has won the National Lotley Media and Advertising Award for Gender Sensitivity 2014-15 and her Telugu blog Vivakshaku Mugimpu Palakali has been selected as the best blog under the web category. Bihar Divas was observed on March 22 and why March 22? Because on March 22, 1912, British carved out this state from the Bengal Presidency. So, Bihar was created out of Bengal Presidency by the British government in the year 1912 on March 22. March 22nd is World Water Day. The theme for 2016 is Water and Jobs. And please don't forget, first World Water Day was observed on 22nd March 1993. Aung San Suu Kyi, she cannot become the president in spite of her landslide victory. Now, she will call the shots, but she will be the finance minister and she will keep three more ministries. But please don't forget, real power lies with Aung San Suu Kyi, who is the head of uh, National League for Democracy. And she got a landslide victory in the elections. And Tim Kya will be the President technically, but she will be the real authority in Myanmar as constitution bars her to become president. Tin Gya will be the president and she will hold four portfolios including foreign affairs. India Russia joint commission meeting was held in New Delhi to discuss bilateral cooperation between two countries in the areas of disaster management. Ministry of Petroleum has set up Amar Jyoti at the National Martyrs Memorial. This National Martyrs Memorial is at Husseiniwala. This is the place near Indo Park border. And all of you are well aware about the Bhagat Singh, Rajguru, and Sukhdev, revolutionary freedom fighters who were hanged in Lahore Central Jail on March 23, 1931. And they were cremated on the banks of Satlas River at Husseiniwala near Indo Park border and to commemorate this Ministry of Petroleum has set up Amar Jyoti at Husseiniwala Memorial. Ola signed an agreement with the Maharashtra government to skill over 1 lakh youth as independent driver entrepreneurs over the next 5 years. Ola is Indian company, Uber is USA based company and Ola and Uber, these two 
are the companies with the substantial market share in the country. Ola signed an agreement with Maharashtra government to skill over 1 lakh youth as independent driver entrepreneurs over the next 5 years. Look at the next one, ICGS Arnvesh, a fast patrol vessel was commissioned for Indian Coast Guard at Visakhapatnam and it is the 16th vessel among 20 in the category being built by Cochin Shipyard Limited. The largest fair on food and hospitality sector in India, AHAR 2016 was inaugurated at Pragati Maidan, New Delhi. And this is the 31st in the series. Ahar is the largest show in South Asia and it is organized by India Trade Promotion Organization. This is the organization under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry exclusively for the purpose of promoting trade. The India Meteorological Department has deployed indigenously developed Drishti. This will provide real-time visibility information to the pilots and this was developed by National Aerospace Laboratories in Bangalore. British astronomers have discovered largest sample cluster of 9 monster stars named R136 and the masses of these is 100 times more than Sun and these are named R136 and these were discovered by Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble Space Telescope is kept in low earth orbit and sent by NASA in association with the European Space Agency and Hubble Space Telescope recently completed 25 years of its existence, do not forget. Goa government has classified Feni. Basically, feni is made from coconut or cashew fruits and this is a form of a spirit produced exclusively in Goa and Goa government has classified this drink of feni, the country liquor, as the heritage spirit of the state. Acclaimed humanitarian actor Ashley Judd has been appointed as the goodwill ambassador of the United Nations Population Fund. The previous name of this fund was United Nations Fund for Population Activities and its name got changed to United Nations Population Fund. It is New York based agency established in 1969 and basically it is a nodal agency of United Nations to raise awareness of reproductive health and population issues in the countries and Ashley Judy is an American actress and political activist. Bharti Airtel, this is the country's largest telecom operator and this will acquire video con telecommunications entity of 1800 MHz spectrum in 6 circles for Rs. 4428 crore and founder of this Airtel group is Bharti Metal, please do not forget. At the 43rd Scotch Summit, what is Scotch? Scotch is a think tank based in Gurgaon. And at the 43rd Scotch Summit held in New Delhi, Scotch Lifetime Achievement Award was conferred on Mr. Venkaiah Naidu, the Union Minister of Urban Development for his contributions to inclusive growth and towards poverty alleviation in India. As per the figures released by the Geneva based WIPO, you may ask what is the WIPO? WIPO is World Intellectual Property Organization, it is based in Geneva. United States of America continue to dominate the world of innovation and inventions by filing more than 57,000 international patent applications in 2015. If someone asks the country leading in patent applications, that is United States of America. More patents means more innovation and more inventions. If you compare India's figure, it is just 1423 and America 57385. Right friends, Johan Cruyff, one of the greatest football players belonging to Netherlands, died on 24th March due to lung cancer. The former Bosnian Serb leader, Radovan Karadzic was convicted of genocide and war crimes by the United Nations Tribunal and sentenced to 40 years in prison. And this Bosnian civil war 
occurred subsequent to the breakdown of Yugoslavia and this is the one of the worst conflicts in Europe since World War II and for genocide Radovan Karadžić was sentenced to 40 years in prison the indian space research organization isro established this garden key ionosphere radar interferometer or girri near tirupati in andhra pradesh the main objective is to study the variations in sun which will have effect on ionospheric irregularities right look at the next one karnataka state government has developed a mobile application titled mgn rega m platform basically to monitor the mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee scheme right friends with this let us conclude news at a glance please to join for other modules we will have six modules every week please listen to snt health and environment which we introduced from 11th week onwards have a nice day thank you